Welcome back. In this part, we will see the implementation of Lightning module. First, we have to create a class which inherited from the Lightning module class. And in this, in that class, we will build the component for the training of this whole structure or whole model. So let me create a class like what should be the name? Chrono Net class. Chrono model. Let me make it Chrono model. And it will accept the lightning module and let me create the init function and the super. Now we have to define what is the model, what is the batch size, what is the learning rate, and how many number of workers, uh, which loss function to use, which performance or evaluation criteria to use. So the model is Chrononet with the 14 channel. Learning rate is 1 raised to power minus 3. Batch size is 12. Number of worker is 2. Accuracy is can be taken from tot tot matrix. Criterion, which is actually loss function, can be binary cross entropy with the logit's loss. Now I have to create a forward function. The forward function will take the batch and with the signal and the with the signal and it gives the prediction. After that, we have to create a optimizer. For that, we have a function called configure optimizer. And we will use Adam optimizer. It will accept two things. That one is the parameter, which is self dot parameters, and other other is the learning rate. After that, we have to create a data loader. It actually moves from the disk to RAM, or if the data is already in disk, it created created batches so that the batch can be later in that can be fed to the GPU. First we have to create the data set. The data set is actually the data set is actually the tensor data set which will accept the train feature and the train labels for the training part and the val features and val labor for the validation part. Then we create a data loader which will convert the data which has almost 330 epochs into batches of 12 epochs. And this will be performed randomly because we will set shuffle equal to true in the data loader. The same thing we will do with the validation set but before that once the data once the batch of data is loaded we have to pass it to the training step so let me create a function for the training step Uh, similarly, as we go to the loss, we also try to get the accuracy and for that we will use self.awc and it will accept out.flatten and uh, instead of float it will accept long. Actually long in PyTorch is basically integer. The criterion accept the label to be in float and the 
torch matrix accuracy function except the label in the format form of integers then then we will create a dictionary which will return loss and the accuracy if you feel this part of lightning part difficult you can go to this github you can go to this udemy course deep learning in action medical imaging competition this deep learning course basically covered three or four different deep learning competition and how i participated in that competition and how i achieved a some position in that competition it start from very basic from binary classification then multi class multi label and regression you can get it at 100% off using this youtube coupon and so that you can see the price is totally free in this i have discussed in detail that how part how in part was lightning the data flow how the function work each and every line of this lightning module it is the whole code is explained in much detail in this course if you do not have the time to watch all this three or course you can simply watch this binary classification which is actually the same thing we are doing in this chrononet series the only difference is that in this in the course we are dealing with images and in the chrononet series we are dealing with signal the rest of the chrononet class or from the latin module remain the same everything remain the same once we got the training step we will pass the loss and accuracy to the train epoch and function it should be remember that you can't rename these function you can't misspell these function these function are not something user defined they are actually inherited from the latin module so the basically the output contain the all the accuracy and loss of all the batches so i have to get the accuracy from all the batches and average the accuracy and from the gpu i have to move the accuracy to the cpu for that i will do list comprehension after that i will stack the output in the list comprehension then i will take the mean detach it from the cpu move it to the cpu and then i will convert it into numpy because currently it is in tensor format and then i will round the values to the up to two values the same thing i will do with the loss with the loss value and instead of accuracy i will pass loss this is the same value loss here which we can see here and same accuracy which is present in the form of dictionary and we index it here then i can do printing of the accuracy and loss this is for the training part the same thing i have to repeat for the validation part this is the end of this lightning module class now i will call this class and then we will start the training part we can do the training with the help of trainer we have imported above the trainer accept few parameters such as maximum number of epoch which we will define one because we are just testing here we can also pass whether we want to train it on a gpu or on a cpu we can also pass a number of other parameter which if you want to then all of these parameter you can go to the official document documentation of the part part of latin or you can enroll in this course for free and learn a lot of thing about part of lightning and medical image analysis and deep learning competition
then I have to start the training process, which we can do with training dot trainer dot fit, and then we have to pass the model. Okay, it gives us some error that no training step is defined. So let me think it is uh, some sort of error, and basically, it is training step, not the train step, I believe. And we can see that say the data loader is not defined because actually it is loader. The reason is that I am getting this none type object has no attribute flatten. If we go to this line, which is actually in validation step, uh, we can see that the out is none there should be a value for out why the out is none and why the self function what is the self function self function is actually the forward function the forward function is can be written as self or you can also write as self dot forward or simply self we have to return the value x So you can see that the training has been started and let me check that what is the data what is the hardware accelerator it is actually cpu we can convert it into gpu and run it for around 50 epochs uh, but we will see that in the next part or the and the last part thank you